Hello everyone, it has been so long, but it felt really long to end the year without posting a video since the summer without doing my end of year videos. So I am still alive. I am still kind of active on Instagram, but yeah, I've just had a really busy and hectic school semester, the busiest school semester I've ever had, but it is over now and I wanted to film at least a few end of year videos that I classically like to do. So keep an eye out for an inventory video if I can get that filmed today. Um, but today I wanted to talk about my favorites. My makeup style has changed a lot in the sense where I'm not really buying makeup. I would say, I mean, uh, most of this was bought this year, but I really slowed down on my consumption. And I guess we will really put that to the test when I do my inventory numbers. But um, I'm not wearing makeup as often the second half of the year just because I am back in school and... There's just not time for anything and also not necessarily an occasion to put on makeup but the first half I definitely wore makeup almost every day to work so I try to keep that in mind and everything I have in front of me I try to cut it down. I would say are genuinely like actual favorites. I think in years past I've done it where it's things that I think are good but ne weren't necessarily something I was using over and over and over and over again if that makes sense. Like it still is a favorite, but it wasn't actually like in my everyday routine every single day. It was like, oh, I use this a few times and it's so good that I want to talk about it. So I try to make it only the things that are absolute favorites that I've been using a lot this year. So I will get into that. But first, I wanted to say thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. These earrings, I'm obsessed with. I love Ana Luisa jewelry. I've purchased them with my own money and I've gotten a lot of jewelry since then, but I love their earrings in particular. Um, I also love their little huggy hoops. I have really sensitive ears, especially to the weight of earrings, and they have a lot of options where you can still get like hoop style earrings. Also, ignore my nails. Hoop style earrings that aren't gonna hurt your ears, and they're also really high quality materials. So I have the names and I just don't wanna forget them. First, obviously the hoops are called the Ashley. So when I saw them, I was like, I have to have these. They are like pearl hoops, but you can pair them really nicely with the gems. And this gem is called the Kennedy. You can't really tell, but it almost looks like a bird wing and it's really pretty in the second hole. I would also wear it in the first one. And then I have another pair that I think are so cute and very me. They look like this, they're the Adeline. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but they're little flower earrings, and I think they'd be so cute. Maybe even with the pearl earrings in the second hole and these. I don't know. They're very cute. Um, and Ana Luisa Jewelry is just stunning. They have a ton of timeless pieces that still somehow are trendy and they don't feel old school. And at a really good price, especially right now as it's towards the end of the year, they're having a ton of holiday or end of the year sales. So, so from December 20th to January 10th, they're having their end of year sale, which is 20% off site-wide and then up to 70% off on select items, which is just a really great deal. I love getting them in pairs because I have two piercings. So my biggest thing is always finding two earrings that match together and I never have a problem with Ana Luisa. Like on their website, I can find a ton of things that match together and if anything, I have to pare it down. But I would say their studs and then mini hoops are my absolute favorite items and I don't think you can go wrong with them. So again, thank you Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna check out their jewelry, I have a link down below that you can use to go shopping. Any support that you guys provide helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. And I know you guys will love the jewelry if you want to shop. So if you need a late gift idea, really late gift idea or just a present to yourself, whatever it is, I highly recommend checking them out. But without further ado, let's get into my makeup favorites because I feel like my suggestions this year are just top notch, not to brag, but I feel like I have really been wearing makeup like a normal person where I'm not constantly getting new things to try and it's just superior items this year. So first, I'm just gonna go in the order I wear my makeup. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup today. I finished my finals last night and I just, Want a cozy day, it's cold out, cozy, no makeup, hope you guys don't mind. But first, primers, you could probably hear by the clinking, and you guys probably already know. By the way, I am gonna include some favorites from last year, I'm just doing my year favorites. The Auric Glow Lust. These are so good. I fell back in love with these, especially lately. I have the shades Morganite and Selenite, so you can see, oh 
my nails are so bad. Um, Morganite is here. It's a little bit lighter and selenite is a little bit more peachy, a little bit darker. Recently, I've been mixing the two. I would find that Morganite on its own is a little bit too pearly for me just because it is a little light, but selenite right now is obviously a little too deep. So mixing these together is beautiful. I put it all over my face and then I use concealer on top. I realized I did not pull my concealer, but where is it? It was hiding behind my computer. I used the Kosas concealer, which this is a repurchase for me. I've loved this for probably several years now. This combination, and I've said this since I tried the Oracle Lust, this combination is absolutely stunning. So I apply this all over my face and then I will apply the concealer under my eyes and then typically like on my cheeks where I have a little bit more redness or want to add a little bit of coverage. These add a tint to your skin and a slight bit of like redness correction, but they're not going to add a ton of coverage. So take that as you will. Um, I also use these with foundation on top. These are a little bit thicker in formula in a good way where they're really nourishing and they're not shimmery. They just add a really nice reflect to the skin that I think makes it look really healthy. And I just think they're stunning. And especially as someone who lives in a hot climate where my skin does get sweaty and I don't like things to be super wet and dewy. These are still gorgeous. I set them down, but you don't have to if you want them to stay like that. I like them under my eyes as like a little brightener. I like them mixed in with my foundation. Just really gorgeous and versatile products. And I'm probably at over halfway through with my selenite. So definitely getting a lot of use out of these. And again, just gorgeous primers that really add something to your skin besides just a glow. It actually feels hydrating. The Kosas Concealer is super hydrating and the perfect amount of coverage for me. It beautifully blends out on the skin and this the moisturization of these two together is so beautiful without being like wet or overly moisturizing or whatever and I have a powder to talk about in a minute that I think these three products the primer the concealer and the powder are just the most stunning base combination and it's all I've been wearing lately um, and you can also really easily make it look like no makeup makeup while still having an adequate amount of coverage because I don't like the redness of my cheeks to be showing but I can wear that and I feel like I'm going to class without it looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And the other primer that I've been loving a lot, especially in the hotter months, is the Say Glowy Super Gel on Star Glow. This is more of a gel primer, so it does kind of set down onto the skin. Not set, but it does sink into the skin. And it has a really beautiful, moisturizing feel. I love the feeling of putting it on. It's almost cooling. And it adds a really nice reflect where it almost just looks like how your skin looks after you do skincare. But it's not sticky or heavy in any way. It's also not shimmery or sparkly. It just adds a really beautiful glow to the skin. I'm a really big fan of this. If I did get tan, I would get the deeper shade for the summers. But if you want like the uh, Drunk Elephant Dew Bronzy Drops, but you want something that you can kind of wear on its own as a primer, or you just want something a little bit more glowy, they have a deeper shade in this that I think would be very nice. So I really love the texture of this primer, especially if you're like me and you live in a hot climate or you just don't like things that stay super tacky on your skin. This will sink in while still adding a little bit of moisture and a little bit of glow. I like to use this especially if I feel like my skin is still a little bit dry after my skincare. This adds the perfect amount of hydration before I put on foundation. I have two foundation favorites. I don't know if this will come to the surprise. I don't know how often we've talked since these have become favorites, but first is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I love this at the beginning of the year, and especially when I just want easy coverage. This is gorgeous. It adds probably a medium coverage to the skin, but it is so thin that you don't have to spend so much time building it up. And it also just, I, I can't describe it. It is my perfect foundation texture. It does add a little bit more coverage than like an everyday foundation. You could probably sheer it out more than I do, but it completely covers my redness very quickly, which is why I loved it for work because I didn't have to spend so long on my foundation, but it's still super thin. It's really skin-like, it's so thin that you can't even tell that it's on the skin. It is moisturizing without being super heavy or tacky, and it's just perfect if you like foundations that I like. It is really great if you're looking for like a medium coverage or just sheering it out to a more light coverage. I think this is a gorgeous formula. And even after trying it after months of not using it, I still loved it, and it's like my go-to for if I have a job interview or I wanna look good on camera or anything where it's not just day-to-day, -day, I will pull this out for a little bit more coverage. It's not high coverage at all. I just mean I go like primers for every day. Um, but it's still, if I do wanna wear it every day, I would wear it to work 
and I still didn't feel like I was cakey or looked like I was wearing a bunch of makeup. It just, honestly, the reason I loved it is because it was so quick to put on. So love that. And then the other one that I loved for more everyday, like not super covered, is the Merit Stick Foundation. By the way, in the NARS, I had the shade Gobi and then Merit, I have the shade Cream. Um, this one is really good. I haven't been using it as much lately because I find it looks a little bit too creamy on the skin where I feel like it doesn't melt. I don't know how to describe it. It blends out really easily, but lately I feel like it looks a little bit more like foundation-y right here. I probably will not stand by that. Um, I just kind of get in phases with my base products where it's like I use this for months and months and months and I'm like, eh, okay, I want to switch it up to a different finish. But as you can tell, it's really gross. I've used a lot of it. Um, this is a gorgeous foundation though. Again, it blends out really easily. Like I will put it on and I put my brush over it and you can't even see where it went, but it adds a really light amount of coverage. I also like this because I can use it on my under eyes and all over the face. Um, just really quick, especially if you want like a sheer tint that still adds a little bit of something. I would find it would still cover my cheeks, but not to the point where I was always happy with. I feel like sometimes I would need to build it up just because I do have a lot of redness in my cheeks. But for a super sheer everyday foundation, I've got to say the formula of this is gorgeous. It really just melts into the skin so quickly. You don't have to worry. That's the, oh, that's the thing that I loved about this, especially during work, is I didn't have to spend so long on my foundation because it wasn't a liquid where I had to make sure like there were no harsh lines, I had to blend it out. I would put it on, just do this, and it was already blended and you couldn't tell the difference between my skin and the foundation in a good way. So I loved this. I used the Say Bronzer Buffing Brush for that foundation specifically, and I love that one powder favorites. Beginning of the year was definitely the NARS light reflecting powder. Um, you can tell that I love it. It did shatter a little bit so I haven't been using it as much lately. I've talked about this a ton in the past. It's super sheer on the skin and makes your skin really soft and it cuts that harsh shine while not cutting away all of the dew and the glow. So if you just feel like you're overly dewy it'll cut that shine to where you look naturally really skin carry glowy. So I hope that makes sense. If you have the same preferences as I do, I feel like you'll understand, but really love this one, especially on the under eyes. It really smooths things out. But more recently with the Orc primers and the Kosas concealer, I've been finally pulling back out my Kosas cloud set. I used the shade Breezy. I've had this for a while and I didn't love it at first because I felt like it, it made my foundation look a little bit like cakey because I felt like it almost pulled that moisture out and onto the powder where you could see it. But for some reason, this combo absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can tell I've used a lot of it. I don't know if I said this, the shade Breezy. Um, the combination of just all of these makes my skin look absolutely gorgeous. Um, doesn't look dry, but it doesn't look super shiny. It looks like I have really beautiful moisturized skin, and it also doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. So for some reason, those three products, if you want a beautiful base combo for your really glowy, but you're not tacky or heavy, buy these three products and you won't be sad. So loving these three so much. And then let's go on to like the accessorizing like brows, mascara products really quickly. And then I'll go on to the fun stuff, which is cheeks, eyes, and lips. So first I needed to give a shout out. This is ridiculous mentioning a setting spray in a makeup favorites video. Like setting spray is boring, unnecessary, etc. But this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray it is all they say and more. I I hate to say it. I know it's expensive. I got the little two pack because I know that I don't want to like be packing a giant setting spray around, but this perfectly melts all your makeup together. And if you overly powdered and you need that glow back, put this on. It'll moisturize your skin and it'll make your skin look so glowy and beautiful. I don't know what's in here. It is perfect if you want the look of glowy skin without having unset or really heavy or really dewy makeup. If you feel like you look a little bit more flat than you meant to, you spray this on and you look like a supermodel. I don't know what's in here. Obviously, if you don't like dewy like skin, if you don't use a ton of this, you're not going to look like, oh my gosh, you're super oily. It doesn't look oily at all. It just brings back the life to your skin if you might have made it a little bit too matte. It is really pretty. I really like it. Um, I normally forget to use setting spray, but recently, especially with foundation, I think it makes a big difference in making my makeup look really natural because it really melts everything into the skin together and it brings back that little bit of life. I'm gonna go through these quickly. Eye primer is always Fenty Beauty. 
perfect if you have oily eyes. Makes your eyeshadow last all day. Love it for cream and powder eyeshadows. Just always a favorite. That's a repurchase. Um, Kosas Brow Gel. I have the shade Soft Brown. This is my favorite brow gel because it's not super wet so it doesn't get all over your skin. It adds just that super perfect amount of fluff and color without making it like, oops, I got it in a big clump. I feel like I never get big clumps with this. It just kind of naturally adds that color and it never looks too much. Macy has entered. Um, but this is always a brow gel favorite. I'm almost on my third tube, so you know I love it. And then a recent one that I really fell in love with. The Rare Beauty is still like one of my favorite mascaras ever, but the Tower 28 mascara, this is in PR. I got this in PR, but I'm going to repurchase. It's the Make Waves mascara, the black one, because that's all they have right now. This is so good for no reason at all. Um, it adds... I'm really picky about mascara and it adds the perfect amount of volume and length without being clumpy. Um, it makes my lashes look really long and beautiful, but still really like spread out and not too like heavy looking. And the thing that impresses me the most, well, the way it looks in my eyes probably the most because I'm really picky about mascaras, but the most surprising thing, it's not a tubing mascara, but when you go to wash it off, you just need water and you just rub your eye and it all comes off. It is so easy if you have really sensitive eyes and usually like scrubbing mascara off even with a cleansing balm is a lot for you. Try this out because this is magic. I don't know what it is, but another hit launch from Tower 28. Cheek products. Let's start off with bronzers. Um, I use my Fenty Beauty bronzer a lot this year, but I found that I don't really love the formula anymore. Maybe it's just getting old, but I think the dewiness of it makes my makeup look a little bit makeup-y and that's not really what I'm into. Again, if you can't tell, I'm really into natural like looking makeup and not overly dewy but I still have dry skin so my favorite cream and powder bronzer of the year is the Patrick Ta cream contour and powder bronzer doing and she's statuesque I'm pretty sure I love this last year as well um you can see I have a little bit of a dip the color of this is perfect because it's like a neutral color it's not super orangey and the finish of it is just stunning it melts right into the skin it doesn't dr look dry ever but it's not that super super dewy formula where i feel like it emphasizes my pores or anything like that the powder is super sheer but really beautiful to add on top and i feel like sometimes after i powder i lose all of the color in my cheeks from those cream cheek products this is perfect to put on top just the perfect duo especially to travel with just amazing i really love this product and I would repurchase if I used this up or lost it. I think it is my favorite cream bronzer that I've used. The only bronzer besides that that I have been using is the Kosas. Um, I don't know the name of this. I don't think it's on it, but it's just their powder bronzer in the shade Light. This I've been raving about, I think, for two years now. Um, this adds the gorgeous amount of color to your skin. You would think it's too light, but it adds the perfect bronze it looks like you've really been in the sun and you got a little bit sun kissed without looking like okay she really went ham with the bronzer because i don't like looking like i'm wearing a ton of bronzer i don't think that looks good on my skin especially since i have light skin this just adds the perfect amount of bronze it looks really shimmery in the pan but it adds this perfect glow on the skin where it doesn't look like i'm shimmering but it doesn't look flat it's my favorite formula for a powder bronzer and so i've been really just using these two exclusively this year these are my favorites of all time i love them for blush i'm gonna say two and then i'll give an honor honorable mention because i also loved it a lot this summer my favorite cream blush is the Rose Ink Heliotrope Blush. If I think I mentioned this on my channel. I had this in my collection for a while and I was just not using it and I almost got rid of it because I had never used it and it had been a while. Tell me why this is the most beautiful blush color for my skin tone. It is like that perfect, oh here she is. I wanted Maisie to come say hi because you guys haven't seen her in a while. But she really just wants to go in the window. But she has grown up so much. She just turned two last month. Anyways. The most perfect like rosy neutral color where it's not a super orange base which i find in a lot of rose blush colors um the formula is like a mature not mature but like a refined tower 28 blush formula where it doesn't feel super heavy on the skin but it's still really nice and glowy it's a little bit thicker in formula she is just going crazy um it's a little bit thicker in formula honestly the color is so beautiful that i don't even notice the formula i just love it so much and it does last all day on me which is just wonderful especially after like eight days in the office my favorite powder blush which i would say is probably my favorite blush of the year hands down is a blush that i also did not try for a while because 
I just was not drawn to trying it and I almost got rid of it and then I decided to try it one day and I fell head over heels in love with it. This was actually from Kyla. She did not like this so she sent it to me. It is my favorite blush of all time. It's the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blush in the shade Magic Hour. The perfect peachy pink blush ever. I feel so pretty using this. It is not orange but it's not just straight up pink and it's not straight up peach. It's that perfect blush color for my skin tone. I absolutely love this and I ha if I had to only keep one blush it would be this one. It is a powder but because it is that shimmery baked formula it doesn't look dry on the skin. It's not sparkly on the skin but it is really glowy and it's just beautiful. If you have my skin tone and you have my makeup preferences this is this is the blush. I don't even need to buy powder blushes because this one will always be my favorite so absolutely love that blush formula and color. I've loved that formula for a long time. This is my favorite color in any blush, so just absolutely love those two. And then my honorable mention, which I especially loved over the summer, is the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick in the shade Rebel Red. This reminds me of the Melt Cosmetics blush formula. It's super thin on the skin, really easy to blend out. You do not need to set this if you don't want to because of how thin it is on the skin. It just looks so skin-like. The color is beautiful if you want that, like, sunburnt in the sun color just that perfect summery shade for me not too deep but you could build it up just the formula is really stunning and i love this color in particular highlighter i'm going to mention the m cosmetics sunscape highlighter in the shade clarity i didn't like this at first but then after a few uses i really fell in love it just melts into the skin looks super skin like and really glowy without being over the top it is that baked formula but I hated on this for a while, but I'm not gonna lie, I really do like it now. Eyeshadow, oh, actually one last mention. I know I'm still not the biggest fan of Hourglass because I think they need to expand their shade ranges, but I got this palette as a gift and I'm not gonna lie, it is basically all I use for the past few months on my cheeks. It is the Holiday Palette, the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette in the shade Elephant. Um, you can get the inside shades in whatever packaging you want. So they have like Elephant, Butterfly, and Tiger. Um, I just got it off of Sephora or whoever got it for me did. And I, I really like this. I did some traveling for work this year or like job interviews and I brought this with and this is just perfect. I have not used this highlighter and I think I've used all of everything else. So the bronzer I thought would be too orange or too deep and it really does work for me. I just go in with a light hand blend super easily, you know, the hourglass formula. I love the under eye setting powder. This highlighter right here is super subtle, but it is very pretty. This pink blush is very, very pretty without being too pigmented, but I would go in with a light hand at first. It's just a really beautiful palette and it has really simplified my mornings, which is what I was really looking for because I'm not, I mean, I love makeup like I used to, but it's just in a different way where I'm not obsessed with it or I'm not like, I don't know, I just want simple mornings sometimes and this has really made it easy and I just pull out this palette and I can do a full face of makeup in like five minutes with this. So I do really like this. If you're in college or you just have a busy work day or early mornings for work, I do really like these palettes. The formula on Hourglass products are really stunning. I just wish they would expand their range a little bit more. I do like how they have three different colors of their holiday palettes, but... I would still like to see improvement. To eyeshadows, I have three to mention. Only one big palette, which is the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions palette. I really just use the lighter shades on this, but the shimmers are really pretty. They're like a scattered glitter type, but an everyday sort of glitter. And then the matte shades are just really easy to blend. All tones of brown, just really loving neutral eyeshadow palettes. So I love that. And then the two that I used probably every time I do eyeshadow and I don't stray from, versus the M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow in the shade Rodin. I don't use all of these shades every day, but this matte brown color is the perfect neutral. It's not orangey or warm toned, which I love. And then all three of the shimmers are gorgeous. So I reach for this every time I want a brown eyeshadow, to be honest. And then my number one eyeshadow pick of the year is the Makeup by Mario Four Play Everyday Quad in Nude One. I don't know if they have this anymore, but if they do, I would check his website because usually his website still has it. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. This pinky mauve almost color is perfect for every day. 
They are pretty powdery when you tap it in the pan, but I don't get a ton of fallout and they blend really easily. This cream shade is good if you want to set your eye primer or put it under the brow bone, just super beautiful. This is similar to the M Cosmetics Satin Shade where it's not super shimmery, so it's really soft. And I like to add it especially on the outer corner or just all over the lid if I don't want a super sparkly look, but I still want a shimmer. And then this topper is so pretty. You can kind of see it in the light, but it adds the most beautiful, not even glittery, but like a scattered sparkle where it's not a super dense pigmented color, but it's really sheer, but adds the most beautiful shimmer in the light. So love this quad so much. I think it's the best eyeshadow to ever grace planet Earth. And then I only have three single shadows to mention. One is of course the Auric Smoke Reflect and Temper. You can watch my other videos if you want to hear more about this, but the cream is my perfect everyday like actual rose gold without being goldy color and then the topper again is that sparkled glitter kind of shade this is so easy for every day i just slap it on the eyes and i'm good to go and then for singles i really loved my victoria beckham lid lusters i have two shades i have the shade honey which is a true gold color it's not orangey or yellowy it's just a true like goldy bronze color that I really love and then the newer one to my collection newer as and I bought it probably in January or something is chiffon this does I don't know how to describe it it's not green but it does have that kind of greenish hue when you look into it and not in like a bright green just in a champagne -y green but it is really pretty it is light so just be aware of that but I think it brightens my makeup really well these formulas are so beautiful and I really loved it and last but not least let's quickly go through lip products um my Glossier Ultra Lips I love I don't have the shade that I normally use but Trench is like a brownie color and then I think it's Villa is my everyday shade I have no idea where that went but that's my favorite color these formulas are really thin without looking like I'm wearing a ton on my um lips anyways and just a really beautiful formula um for lipsticks the merit lipsticks i absolutely love this is the shade tiger i don't like wearing lipsticks especially because they're a little bit drying but these are really sheer not like drying they don't add hydration but they just are neutral and really beautiful colors from merit the lawless forget the filler lip gloss in the shade velvet is really pretty if you want the shiniest most plush looking lips and it's minty, so it's really nice. And actually, it says it's plumping, but it's, I don't know what to say. I think some of them smell a little bit minty, but I don't think they're tingly at all. This one smells like apples, but there is no artificial fragrance. I'm allergic to that, so that one is really beautiful. And then, of course, raining on top is always the Tower 28 lip glosses. The new shade from them in Sesame is probably my favorite right now. It is like my perfect shade where it's my lip color but a little bit deeper it's just really gorgeous so I've been loving that so much I feel like I've been talking for way too long but if you have any questions about any of these products please leave it down below or if you want to see me use any of these products or do like a full face of my 2022 favorites I don't even know if I said the year 2022 if you want to see any of that just let me know down below but thank you guys so much for watching especially after i haven't been here in so long i do really appreciate it again if you're interested in any all Lisa jewelry the earrings that i'm wearing or anything necklaces rings bracelets anything like that they have it but my link is down below if you want to shop the sales check a look at what they have i would really appreciate it and thank you again Anna Lisa. thank you you guys and i hope you guys had a great year and i will see you in my next video bye